What's up guys, it's Eternal here and today I'm gonna show you how to play Varus. So let's start with Torrance Blade. I will play with Leona support against Caitlyn and Sona. You want to start with E first and let's get to his skill explanation. So as for W on passive Varus basic attacks, deal bonus magic damage and apply Blight for 6 seconds stacking up to 3 times. Varus other ability is Detonate Blight, doing magic damage equal to percentage of the target's maximum health per stack. And Varus next Q deals bonus magic damage equal to percentage of the target's missing health, scaling with Q charge. So Q has a charge, the longer you charge it, the better the damage is and the range will increase. So as for the Q, after 4 seconds of not casting that, your ability goes on cooldown, but you get the mana cost refunded by 50%. And as for E, your main harassing tool on lane induces physical damage, desecrates the ground for 4 seconds, so it slows enemies and applies grievous wounds, so it's good against healing supports such as Sona. Usually, you want to try to cast E on the moment of healing to reduce that, also to reduce the healing summoner. As for the passive, you gain attack speed for 5 seconds, the attack speed buff is better when you get a champion kill on assist and if you kill an unit it's a bit smaller. So thanks to the passive usually you are able to get level 2 before your enemy and Leona is definitely the best support for Varus because it is so easy to follow up. So here's W. And already a nice engage by Leona, that's why. So you want to apply as many blight stacks as possible, I mean your W. Because your abilities consume these stacks. So the best damage from consuming W is from the Q. But usually on lane early you do E. So in that case I was able to get two. So before you get out of your basic attack range, you just try to apply as much as you can. Of course up to three. You cannot apply more. So here's Q. During the Q casting you are slowed by 20% and you are not able to basic attack. Though you can release that Q fast, so in between all attacks, that way it won't interrupt your combos. Not in rage yet. Yeah, low nice low on mana. And Q deals 15% less damage for the next target, so after hitting one. And minimum 33% reduction. When you consume W stacks, your Q cooldown is reduced by 4 seconds, but only if you consume them with Q, and your E slow scales with rank. So the more points you have in this ability, the better the slow is. Varus is a late game champion, this build will focus on on hit. So this is really good for team fighting and once you get a single takedown from the passive then you can really auto attack like crazy and once you get some lifesteal you can really turn some team fights just by yourself. And you want to max Q first. So it's really easy to farm, you can help yourself last hitting with Q or E, try to land Q in between minions cause the hitbox is not so huge for the Q. It's usually a single target, unless it passes through in the line. Those who cross me. 
and W deals magic damage, so it's really hard to itemize against Varus. That way you are always guaranteed that you will deal a lot of damage anyway. So trying to trade back, that's really aggressive from Rona. I'm actually surprised. But it was effective. Though, why not just back? No one I could survive that easily. So I'm not able to kill Caitlyn anymore. I wish I had ult, but there's Udil, so. Great, so in between you just release Q fast and that way you can do more damage. Keep in mind. And yeah, time to back. Let's keep the wave like this, around the middle. I won't be fast enough to push this wave because Katie is already coming to lane. The first item that you wanna get is Blade of the Rune King. Let's go like this. So now I have a nice slow that will help me in engaging. So usually you with the ultimate that I didn't explain yet, so let's explain that. You deal magic damage and you mobilize the first enemy champion hit for two seconds. The corruption then spreads towards nearby uninfected enemy champions. If it reaches them, they take the same damage and are also immobilized. Immobilized units gain three blight stacks over the duration. So just from casting out you already get stacks and you can consume them with other spell. And your ultimate can be used to engage or to follow up. Well for that case I am alone so I just wait for my teammates. So I think that was E on the healing a bit less. That was an ultimate. You can try some engages yourself or you can wait for your aggressive supports such as Leona to just follow up. So Leona should start with ultimate then follow up with EQ and I press ult. Oh yeah you can try like this sometimes. And so you can sometimes do flash Q. Just remember to just remember not to release your Q yet before you flash or you end up losing the range. So yeah, I tried to apply as many stacks, so then I would consume them with E or Q. For lower targets it's better to consume with Q, but that didn't matter anyway. It was just to make sure that my enemy won't get away from the lane, right? So you need to have that in mind as well. Not only consuming stacks for for the sake of it, but just for the slow sometimes. And also remember that once you get to the point when you have a lot of attack speed, it's not worth casting E. Unless for the healing, because during the time, I mean, by the time you cast it, you could do two or three aura attacks. That would do much more damage than just your E. I'm trying again. I'm having some luck, so I press that a bit later. I have the small delay. Well, not this time, but I tried. Yeah, I think I just back now. Why not? So, Blade of the Ruin King, and you can go Ninja Tabi or Graves. So, actually, 
think I just go Tabby, because why not? They have a lot of AD based champions, and I will have a lot of attack speed from my next two items, so that will be a little overkill. Usually, you want to go Tabby. So, from that point, we just seek for opportunities to engage like this. And great. You want to max E second and now the slow scales. So let's push that and dive Caitlyn. Taunt won't be hard. Okay, she's aware. Yeah, in that case it's not the first threat, so I'm letting my enemy lose some minions. Like this, you can see it's gone anyway. So why not like this? Putting her behind a bit more. And aggressive, you want to be aggressive as much as you can with Varus, of course, when you know that it won't be punished. And keep in mind, Varus has no escape, so you need good positioning. Make sure that you don't only use your ultimate for engaging, sometimes you can save your ally or peel yourself, keeping your ultimate for dangerous situations. That's an overextending, I think. I think we are here for way too long. Let's try blue buff. Well. I think Woodley could help me a bit more. But okay, it was an overextend anyway. We should have bugged. That blue wasn't worth. Alright, so Rage Blade next. So even when clearing, you just apply three stacks, and then it's easy. Or if I go from this side, should I wait for Lona? Don't think so, because... It's fine, it's fine. Don't even have to waste my ult on them, Lona took that. So let's speed push. And yeah, let's take that through it. Okay, we actually need to impact mid now. And since there's still Herald, I definitely want to take that because Varus is so good at taking objectives. All this Blade of Druid King on hit with W. Leona has ult, so that's great. Right. Hey. So yeah, definitely Herald now. Nope, it's mine. 
triggering my W as I said. It's really simple. You just need to do things in the right order. And yeah, I take that. Is blue buff there? It is. This is the right time to back. So Rage Blade and next is Hurricane. So you'll be able to apply multiple stacks on your enemies. Oh damn, allies died for no reason again. You see, that's a nice amount of attack speed and you can imagine what will happen when I get my passive. So we're on a good engage and we can go. Yeah. As you can see the corruption connects on other targets. And it's really great. I try to. <sighs> That's a bit over aggressive from Lorna, actually. See guys, there burst. That's good. Oh, no, enough. All right, let's place Harold. We should be going now, they are dead. We can take free objective, why not? And even more from that, yeah. That's a good use of Herald in the right time. I'm trying to position. So you could pay attention how I try not to join too early. He wants EQ and they surrender so thank you guys for watching, hope that you learned something about battles, leave a like, subscribe and see you next time.